I attended a conference with, um, it was uh, hosted by Pastor T.D. Jakes, and he had a gentleman by the name of uh, uh, Byron Allen. Are you familiar with him? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He Detroiter. Made a, yeah, he made a bold mm-hmm. statement for his community. And he was, you know, quote unquote, he was saying, you have to look outside your Negro community. That was quote unquote his mm-hmm. words. And, and that struck a chord in me too, because I said, shoot, I got to look outside my my Puerto Rican tribe and my, you know, my Colombian, uh, you know, family and my Puerto Rican side. Like sometimes we got to go outside the culture to establish a kingdom culture, which then influences your culture that you grew up in, which then advances and perpetuates the culture to become more unified uh, and inclusive in that sense. So pretty, uh, so many interesting things. And then you were saying about, you know, uh, when you intimidate, you eliminate, right? So with all of these gems, uh, I, I, I want to ask, like, do you have like a, just a book of sayings that you've, <laughs> that you got that we could, you know, access or more so speaking along the lines of the people that are watching now live and on the replay, they're like, all right, this is the guy I need to uh, lock arms with. Um, tell us a little bit more about the Relationship Academy. I feel like this is a place, this is my uh, uh, interpretation uh, experience. This is a place to put it all together, to have a template, to have a template and to, you know, step by step work on certain areas that you want to, you know, improve in. And it's a great place to have dialogue. So can you explain a little more on the Relationship Academy? What is it? How does it work? You know, uh, um, pricing, uh, what you got going on? Is this like your main uh, focus? Because I know you do a lot of things. I just want to know in the audience, your main focus right now, is it Relationship Academy? And, you know, uh, just elaborate more on that. Yeah, you know, I think uh, COVID taught us anything. It's not about being on a stage. It's about building your own stage. And um, uh, I was doing a lot of running, a lot of flying, a lot of traveling, uh, pre-COVID-19, here, there, everywhere. But it all slowed it down. And, and you know, rather than panic, you have to pivot. Uh, we're not going back to normal. Normal's not behind us. Normal is ahead of us. And so I think being able to be creative in a crisis, tap into your ingenuity, uh, strategy and intentionality is, is, is the, uh, the spice of life for this season. Uh, so I built a built an academy uh, focused on love leadership, leveraging your purpose, really helping people to build the relationship internally first before they seek it externally. What are your, your gifts? What are your talents? What is your purpose? What were you created to do? Not who were you, not necessarily who were you created to be with. That can all come as a result of you doing the work internally first. Um, Based upon that, we, we have individuals who are married. We have those who are single who are in our academy. People who actually want transparency. And, and the fact of the matter is, I, I decided to build a community. The academy is more than just, just an academy where you enroll. It's a community. The community has become a family where people can network, where people can build together, where people can support one another. I think more than ever before, people need a support system and research even indicates those who are part of community communities and those communities are purpose driven. They will see growth and development in their own personal lives as well as their relationships. Um, so the, the academy, I mean, I've got 15 plus years of, of instruction, of teaching. I've taught from classrooms to conferences. I've done the singles. I've done the marriage seminars. I've spoken with Bishop T.D. Jakes. I've done the Steve Harvey TV shows. I've, I've done all of these uh, aspects and these things. I've built the books and birthed the books and written the books, and published, published the books, this, this, that, and the other 12 times over. And uh, I decided to take everything that I have condensed. because I've taught all over, the, all over the length, breadth, and width of America, as well as internationally. I synthesized it and began to just provide instruction. Uh, even tomorrow night, we're, we're wrapping up part two of the gift of singleness, seven particular aspects of what singleness is like. Uh, in, in, the, in the academy, is not that we're pedestalizing women, we're not punishing men, we're just finding a way to meet in the middle. What are the needs of a kingdom woman? What are the needs of a kingdom man? We did a session on how to speak Manglish, how to open up a man's mind and his mouth 
it, it, it's psychological, it's transformational, it's transparent, it's often authentic, it's spiritual, but it's also practical. And every single time that we meet, you're leaving with strategies that you can employ into your life and see greater growth. So I encourage you, those who are watching right now, I know there's at least a minimum of 10 of you who could be a um, uh, who could apply for this academy? Who, matter of fact, just just go ahead and register right now. DrEddieAcademy.com. Go there, register now. You can be a part of our session even tomorrow. It's nothing but love. Uh, it's nothing but camaraderie in our community. Uh, the academy is where the love resides. <laughs>